Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings fresh pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so that you can prepare a meal in about 30 minutes. HelloFresh offers tons of recipes. It's a great way to get out of recipe ruts. They offer vegetarian, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals so that you can stick with your goals. And it's a great way to save time and trips to the grocery store as we head into late summer and into fall and back to school, time seems to shrink even more. HelloFresh's recipes are tested and foolproof. They give you step-by-step -step instructions, which makes them really easy to follow. And this month, my family's favorite meal was the one pan cheesy black bean tacos. HelloFresh allows you to customize your box by swapping out sides and proteins or adding proteins to a meal if you like, which gives you more choices and more options. So the plants are super flexible and made to work for your schedule and you can even change your address to your vacation destination with one click so that you can still receive your HelloFresh deliveries when you're on vacation. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE16 to receive 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. And big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so that I can make better videos for all of you. So today I'm going to be making a recipe that was sent to me by Anne and thanks so much for getting in touch with me via social media to share this recipe with me. It's right up my alley and it is for homemade survival rations. And when I say survival rations, I don't mean a ration pack like I've tasted in my MRE tastings. If you've missed those videos, I'll put a link down below. So this recipe for survival rations is credited to Lee Kelly. It comes from the pack wrap papers. It looks very interesting. It basically is going to be oats that are going to be bound together and then pressed into bars and we can dry them out and according to Lee they can be held indefinitely you can eat them as bars or you can reconstitute them with a little bit of water and have them as a kind of like oatmeal kind of gruel thing so let's go ahead and make this in this bowl I have three cups of old-fashioned oats the recipe says you can use other cereals like barley wheat or corn to that we're going to add some dry milk powder so this will add of course flavor but it will add some nutrition as well. So one and a half a cup. Now we're adding sugar. Whoops. And one package of gelatin. It says use a citrus flavor. So I'm using orange. Lastly, some salt. Give this a stir. And it smells like orange tang. is not very well weighted. In other words, it's an annoying. Three tablespoons of water and three tablespoons of honey. Now this is not very much liquid to be adding to all of that dry stuff. So I'm curious to see how this is going to come together. And then we're supposed to bring this to a boil. Okay, we're at a boil. And they say to add this one tablespoon at a time until it forms a dough. Still very dry. It smells good, it kind of smells like cereal a bit. Something about that smell of citrus and milk. When I say cereal, I mean like Fruit Loops or something. I feel like I need to put my hands in this. Okay, and just knead this together. So, I think we're nearly there. So the next step is to press this into a mold, but it doesn't really say, it just says a refrigerator container. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this nine by nine brownie pan because I think this will give us some decent shaped bars and I think it will fit. Let's try. And I'm gonna use this, the bottom of this measuring cup to give us a nice even layer. Then that's it, it says cut into two bars, which seems like a very large portion and that it can be dried in a low oven. Doesn't give any temperature, doesn't give any time. But first we gotta get out of the pan, so let's see if I can do that. Oh, yes, 
like a sand castle. Dun 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 dun. Kind of looks like Rice Krispie treats, but it's oats. Uh huh. Look at that. So it does want to crumble. Oof. Nope. So I was hoping to get bars as the recipe instructed, but these are just crumbling to pieces. So I happen to have these little trays here. Maybe I can, I don't know. These are actually used to make little tiny tarts, little egg tarts. If you haven't seen that recipe, they're super cute. You should check them out and delicious. And looks like they're coming out. Look at that, it's like an oat puck. And then I'm gonna put this in the oven. And in my oven, I'll just put it on the dehydrator setting, see what they're like after an hour. And then we'll come back and give these a taste. All righty, my lovies, I am back and our little survival rations are dry. I put them in my dehydrator at 125 degrees Fahrenheit and my oven has a convection mode with the dehydrating mode. So it dries it out pretty quickly. So and after an hour, we look like we're done. This is what they look like. And as you can hear, and they are hard. I did end up adding an extra two tablespoons of water to the entire batch. So I'm gonna do as directed in the recipe and wrap them in foil, fold it up, draw up the ends. One little ration. I would probably take another step and place these in an airtight container or maybe vacuum seal them if you really want them to stay fresh. And here are my little packets all wrapped up. Alrighty, so the moment we've been waiting for and the real reason why I wanted to make this recipe is to see what these taste like. Alrighty, let's give them a go. It's the Lucky Malls. Hmm. Hmm. Very sweet. And kind of remind me a lot of a granola bar because they're so oaty. They don't taste bad. They're sweet and taste of orange jello, but not as orangey as I thought. And that probably has to do with the milk powder, I imagine, and they're not bad. I wouldn't call them delicious, but remember when I was making these, I said they remind me a bit of Fruit Loops, and they taste a bit like breakfast cereal too because of that association I have with lemon flavor, with milk and sweetness, that reminds me of Fruit Loops. This reminds me of that as well, and that's not surprising because this is packed with lots of non-fat dry milk powder. So you have some of that milky flavor in there. You've got that artificial orange flavor. So, and lots of sugar. And the oats, it reminds me a lot of breakfast cereal. It's about that same level of sweetness as well. Not half bad. I mean, it's not something I want, want to eat all the time, but having said that, as something that is intended to be a ration that you could hold for a long, long, long time, not half bad. Also, in terms of texture, it's pretty dry. There is a bit of a slight chew to it. I believe that's probably from the honey and a little bit of gelatin. Oh, also, I was expecting it to taste like gelatin or orange jello, and it doesn't. And again, I think it's because of the milk powder in there. It gives it a little bit more of a complexity and flavor. Alrighty, let's rehydrate this in a little bit of water and see what it's like as an oatmeal. Ration to a bowl, just the remnants of what I had before and a bit of water. I'm gonna microwave it for a minute, 45 seconds, and see what happens. I probably could have put a little less water, depending on how you like your oatmeal. Some people like it waterier than others. Now that doesn't look all that appetizing. It does seem to have a more pronounced orange color than it did when it was in its bar form. Super hot. Again, very sweet, much sweeter than how I usually have my oatmeal every morning, but it's not bad. It tastes a little bit milky, not surprising. Very, very sweet. It's about as sweet as those instant oatmeal packs that you can get that are pre-sweetened, pre-flavored, like the brown sugar or the apple cinnamon. 
It's about as sweet as those packs, which is too sweet for me, but for many of you, maybe that's how you like your oatmeal, a tang orange flavor. But it's not sour at all. And for what it is, it's not bad in this form either. Of the two, I would say if I wanted more something like a meal, I'd probably have it hot in its gruel form. But if I'm on the go and I need something quick, then really can't beat the convenience of one of these little pucks. So there you have it, my lovelies, homemade survival rations <laughs> that you can make with oatmeal, dried milk powder, and a box of jello. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code EMMYMADE16 to receive 16 free meals over seven boxes and three free gifts. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.